So today I'm gonna be seeing if I can remove this using my Wagner heat gun. I like this thing. I, it's got this little accessory for the pipes. I used it for my sprinkler lines. It came in handy. This, as you can see, is the Wagner. I don't know. Oh, it's a Wagner heat gun. It's got some fancy controls. But let's see what we could do. So solder melts at about, let's turn this on. Oh, plug it in first, that helps. There we go. Solder melts around like between four and 600 degrees, somewhere like that. So this should hopefully heat this up. I'm gonna run this thing at about 900 degrees. Yeah, 950, because this should melt it and allow me to pull up. It's very close. I could use a torch and put a fire blanket there, but why not just use this? And it looks like it's up to temperature. So, put this around here, and we're gonna see if this can liquefy. This right here. I'm gonna move your guys' angle because this is not gonna be too noticeable, I don't think. Well, actually, it will. If I go like that, you guys should be able to see. So, there we are. We're hitting it with 900 degrees. There, you may not be able to see too well, but. We're gonna see what happens. This may take a while though. Flame might heat it faster. But I would think that it should still heat up, soften the solder, and allow me to pop this up. I mean, I am blow blowing 900 degrees at this thing, so it should soften this solder up. And a lot of guys I know, why don't you just cut it? Cutting's faster. But I look at it this way. I'd rather unsweat and sweat a new one on. And if I decide to use a Pro Press, then I just use a Pro Press. Let me even raise it a little, I think. Because this is slow, I mean. This is not a fast process here at 900 degrees. But then again, think of how hot a flame is. So. We are now rising up. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm going 1,050. Because I want to get this done, but I don't want to be here forever. And I'm believing I can do this. So, if not, I break out the torch, hit it up, pop it off, replace the baseboard cover. And the baseboard. It does take some time. I'm not gonna say this is a one, two, three thing here. But a torch, I believe I'd have this thing heated up already and ready to come apart. But I'm not even seeing any signs of the solder softening yet. So. And I did move it to a thousand, so 1,050 be a lot of heat coming at this thing. I'm just waiting. Get the channel locks ready. I don't think I really need my channel locks for these days. Not even soft yet, so and I'm sure I'm gonna get soft, or at least this is gonna get soft. But I've never done this, so there's a first for everything. I 
and I need him to bring the heat onto the pipe a little because the pipe goes in so this way hopefully he can carry some of the heat inside. Turn my fan down, okay. Turn back up. Actually, does the fan speed matter on this? If I go slower, wouldn't it be like more heat? I'm gonna hit it from here. I need it to soften that solder up. And I would think blowing this kind of heat at the copper would heat it up. But still, I'm not seeing the signs. Oh yeah, I am. I'm seeing the signs. Down here, it's liquefied. So if he's, I see him running. If he's running now, let's see. When water could be trapped here. See the solder drip. There we go. All right, I see it moving. So, boom, we're off. There you go. Oh, I was able to do it. Would I do it again? Most likely, no. This took way too long. Where if I used the torch and heated it up. I would have been off so much sooner, so I do not think I would ever do that again, but at least I know it works. So this is how I usually would do it. I'd put a fire blanket right behind it. I mean, I'm even on this one because the other side I disconnected, I'm gonna heat and pull that way so I'm not cooking right next to the flame there. Let's just move all the stuff in that. Okay. It's holding it from moving a little forward. There we go. A little forward so I can get the blanket a little behind the fin. Not much, but just to hold it. So, all right. Now, I'm going to use the torch. And this is why I don't think I could use the heat gun. Maybe I did it wrong with the heat gun. I should do it one more time. So, I mean, that kind of temperature, you would think... I could have pulled it sooner, especially seeing it run, but. Okay, put that back there. Let's turn my torch on. First, I got my channel locks ready. Put my torch on. I did it with the heat gun so much faster with a torch. Till next time, I'm out.